So you might be noticing that there's only two of us. It's because, strange, isn't it? you know, the professor of Marvel might have won the vote. Um, we don't care, really. No, no, we we're, don't. We're, we're just acting like, you know... We're just like Marvel. We don't care yeah. what you say we or what care. you want. No. We're just going to give this to you. That's right. We're just, we're rigging the election, so um, Morgan won. Yay, Morgan Fitz. Woo! Go me! Yeah. Um, so we're going to let him go first. Yeah, actually, why not? this week, because he won, not Will. Morgan won. Yeah, um... I've got a new issue of a huge sequel to a uh, previous superhero series by Mark Millar. Um, this is Jupiter's Legacy 2. Wait, Did you haven't there think already it was been gonna be something else? Other ones? Well, no, that was a prequel. Actually. Oh, um, because that should be like four by now, right? Yes, you might have thought this would be Civil War 2, but no, it's Jupiter's Legacy 2. Uh, the series that. No one thought it was going to have a sequel because it was originally just supposed to run for like eight issues instead of like ending halfway through and then having a prequel replace it. But anyways, Frank Quitely is back drawing this. Um, and it looks great. It's Frank Quitely. I mean, it's not like Pax Americana level Frank Quitely, but he still pulls out some neat tricks. You know, everyone's super mushy. Everyone has really well-designed <laughs> costumes. Mushy, mushy, mushy. I mean, it's true. <laughs> no, I, even his statues are mushy and they're made of stone. Um, but no, because his is... head looks mushy in real life. He's got mushy head. <laughs> oh, jeez, just go. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, from Black Mask, uh, we bring you Jade Street Protection Services. This is gritty Sailor Moon fantasy action with schoolgirls. Um, we have lots of weapons and swords and cute manga things uh, kind of going on here. Black Mask has been really putting out a lot of fun, uh, kind of edgy indie stuff making up for um, maybe a little bit of the edge that Image has lost sometimes. Um, but Black Mask is a really cool company. They've got a really good uh, kind of vibe to their stuff. And they've also published Space Riders, We Can Never Go Home, some other great things. Uh, Katie Rex and Fabian Lele bring you this. Hopefully another big hit from Black Mask. Um, you know what I mentioned Marvel earlier? Yeah. Uh, I feel like... Last month there was something that people were getting all mad about. Oh, that's right, because Marvel's something. like anti-American, aren't they? Yeah, and no. like they hate apple pie. What? Uh, something, something like that. Oh, I, th I think that. they're putting Nazis as leads. In oh, the that's right, these days. Nazis. That's right. False. Hydra is not Nazis. Um, can, can we just take a second anyway. and say that <laughs> that truly, not to be fanboy about this, but really, they're not. Nazis. Hydra's not Nazis. Guys. Not Nazis. Never they been Nazis. They may have had a number of ex-Nazis in the ranks, but they just not but Hydra goes Nazi. way back before the Thank Nazi you. party. Have you not read Secret Warriors? Thank you. Uh, Cut off a limb. Tomorrow will take its place. Anyways, we have the second issue of that hot, hot, hot series Thank featuring you, Nazi Captain America, as everyone keeps saying. That's right. Um, That's however, he doesn't really show up in this issue. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> it's pretty much just Red Skull explaining his entire master plan on, uh, <laughs> like, doing the whole, like, reverse mind control, not mind control, as Axel Alonso said, although he uh, recently went online, if you've been on the internet in the last two days, and explained the whole thing. Um, Wait, but, he did? Why would you do that? Uh, PR? I don't know, man. Can't get people to read a comic unless they know what's going to happen. Sell. Um, terrible. That's true. But the perk that you have on actually reading the comic and not just Axel's version is you get to look at Jesus Saiz's awesome art. He does all his own colors here, just like he did on uh, his issues of that last Green Lantern miniseries. And he does the best Red Skull since, like, I don't know, Jack Kirby, maybe? It's been a while. Like, it's real good. He, he looks like surprisingly jacked, too. Yeah. Like, underneath that suit, it looks like he'd kick your ass. I and mean, that's how he should look. Um, new from the man who brought you the goon, Eric Powell brings you Hillbilly from Albatross Press, which is his own press. Um, and if you know anything about Eric Powell, there's lots of farting, swearing, punching, very humorous things, um, and probably a lot of drinking. And really sad children. This oh, yeah. is really unfortunate children in his comics. I never really realized that until I looked at the back here. And what? One kid's blind already. Like, you're starting off blind. I mean, not even blind, but, like, no eyes. Like, he can't even just be regular blind. He's just got to have no <laughs> eyes. Like, that's just like rude. double blind. That's what I'm saying. And then he has to fight a warthog. That's horrible. Anyway, Eric <laughs> Powell was mean to kids. <laughs> wow. Oh, <my> um... <laughs> So, I've got a new series here from Z2 Comics. Uh, this is The Sweetness. It's from writer Miss Lasco Gross and her husband, Kevin Colden. Uh, it's really, really cool. I saw a preview of this a few months back, I think, on Bleeding Cool. Um, it's about a bunch of space smugglers. And you know, 
Smugglers in space are amazing. Um, there shouldn't be a lot as of space proven by, Yeah, there really are. Really? Uh, as proven by, you know, Star Wars, uh, Wonton Soup, more importantly. Um, but Far this more is importantly. some sort of weird conspiracy about uh, sugar-craving aliens and prisoners being forced to, like, cart sugar to them across space. And also very, very raunchy... Uh, future white folks with dreads, and you know, future white folks with dreads can only lead to bad decisions. Right. Um, there's actually generally a lot of really, really wow. strange hair decisions in this book, and I was it's just great. That. <laughs> um, there's also vomit. You like vomit, right? Oh, I love vomit, especially if it's candy flavored vomit, and that's good. Um, another one from Black Mask, Four Kids Walk Into a Bank Number 2, which is really cool cover, digging this kind of retro Nintendo thing going uh, on. That's not a Space Riders homage at all. No, not at all. Not. Speaking of their top-selling comic book. Right? Um, but yeah, this is definitely uh, reminiscent of We Can Never Go Home, punk kids, gritty crime stuff, stabbing, swears. Uh, brought to you by uh, Matthew Rosenberg and Tyler Boss. And look at that, they even credit the flatter. And the wallpaper designer. Wow, see, you know, right. Black Mask is a really classy joint here. Um, but, uh, yeah, number one is still unavailable. I hope you got one or found where you can get one. Uh, but definitely check this new crime series out from Black Mask. All right, and my last pick for you is another Marvel here. Uh, the slightly delayed and long-awaited Black Panther number three. Uh, Tony that C. Coates. Yeah, it was delayed by, like, a couple weeks or something. Oh, um, Tiny C. Coates and Brian Stelfreeze, along with Laura Martin, have been absolutely selling out, and not in, like, the crappy sellout kind of way, but, like, in the we-can't-keep-this-book-on-the-stands kind of way. Yeah. Um, and honestly, if you're, I'm sure you're seeing some of the preview art right now, this book is phenomenal. Um, they really make Wakanda feel lived in, which I really appreciate. A lot of time you'll jump into a book and they'll be like, well, we're going to tell you that it's this great yeah. kingdom, do all this stuff, yeah. but, you know, you can't actually feel any of that. And there's a real there's a real natural feel to it here, which I love. And um, Kirby Tech. Yeah, everywhere. so much Kirby Tech. Kirby Tech, just... I don't know how it took so long for people to actually incorporate Kirby stuff into Black Panther, but here it is. I know. Right. Finally, in 2016. And uh, my pick, next pick here, is the end of an era, kind of, almost. Transformers vs. G.I. Joe by Tom Scioli. You might be wondering why I'm talking about Transformers vs. G.I. Joe if you haven't heard me talk about it before. Right, like you haven't um, done that with every issue. Yeah, I don't like the Transformers, nor do I really care about G.I. Joe. Straight up, I just don't. This is brilliant, though. <laughs> Holy crap. This man, Tom Scioli, um, you want to talk about acid in your Kool-Aid? This is a whole nother level of being a kid and playing with your toys. Imagine that you had an, an imagination that actually displayed it on a wall or something where you could see as a kid playing and then you watch it like 20 years later and you're like, wow, I was way cooler as a kid than I am now. Um, yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but this is perfect bound, huge, double badass X-Men style uh, cover here. And um, yeah, you're in for a ride. Yeah, there's a double page spread in there that is possibly the most Tom Scioli thing I've seen in my life. It's intense. Yeah. Um, shall we present uh, the champion of this video? Right. Here, I, I need some help with it. This book is real heavy. <laughs> Ooh! Can we get the Stone Cold music in here? Um, <laughs> we present beer. to you <laughs> Super Pro KO Super Pro. Gold for Glory. Yes. Finally, Jarrett Williams is back with possibly the greatest wrestling comic of all time. Move over ringside. Yep. This <laughs> is what's up. That's right. Jarrett Williams, the man who recently brought you the, I guess, kind of cancelled Hyperforce Neo, brings you more awesome wrestling by more giant men and women with awesome hairdos. Yeah, really crazy two hair. Really Love great it. hairdos. Um, this is only $15. You can't really feel the weight through the video, but let me tell you, this is really heavy. It's not just because I'm weak. I'm telling you, this is really heavy. You are pretty weak, though. Uh, shut up. Anyway, 15 bucks, burly, large men, um, lots of suplexes. It's pretty neat. It's freaking amazing. Um, and that's going to be about it. And uh, we'll see you all again next week when we're going to, you know, let Will back into the club, I guess. We could. You know, he has maybe. to pay his dues again, though. He does, yeah, again. Mm. All right. See you guys.